So welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's really exciting for us because we're about a mile from our showroom. We're in Ringwood in Hampshire, um, right on our doorstep. And today I'm gonna be showing you about this outdoor kitchen. Uh, so something slightly different today. This kitchen was built by a local landscaper. We supplied, we did the design for it. We supplied all the appliances and everything else in the granite worktops. Um, but what I'd also like to do is show you the whole garden because this has got to be one of my favorite gardens that I've been in. So if that's something you want to see, stick around and we'll jump into this video. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of this garden now so you can see um, everything that they've got here. So when we first arrived here, which was last year, something like that, the whole place was a building site. There was just those stones on the floor. I think there was a little bit of grass over there, but nothing else. Uh, I can't remember if that shed was there. That one over there was just being built, um, but it was pretty much a building site. So as you can see, they have got these incredible porcelain slabs all the way around. They've created these raised beds that have all been rendered. So you've got this sort of this gray and white two-tone color that works really well. They've got all these beautiful flowers, lots of lavender, lots of purple. I think that's a bay tree over there, planting everywhere. Um, and these are all uh, really low maintenance plants as well. So, you know, outside of when it's really, really hot or, or dry, um, they really don't need that much watering at all. So if you follow me over here, here is a dining table. So we're about five meters away from the, from the kitchen over there. So once you've cooked all your bits and pieces, you can bring it over here, sit here with your family and friends, eat all your food. Uh, we were talking to the customer earlier. They were thinking about maybe putting a, a pergola up here, which would cover this whole area as well. Um, I'll come around this section here. And, and one of the things that I love about this is that there's just lots of different areas and each area has its own specific function so you've got your kitchen over there you've got your dining table here coming around here this i'm guessing is just a storage shed um, something like that and they've also used on here this beautiful like oak shiplap um, which just oak is such a beautiful material it's got that um, distinctive look um, so that's really really good so we come around here um, and you step up onto this uh, decking section here. Now this is, I think, millboard decking, which is a composite decking, really, really high end, um, really, really good deck. Um, they've got their hot tub here, and then here they've got these incredible um, sun lounges. I've never seen any sun lounges quite so luxurious as those. Feature. This is a water feature that the customer actually designed. I think they saw something online, but it was incredibly expensive. They decided to make it themselves, which they've done. So they made it out of Blockworks render, the same tiles on the top. Um, this section in here is just block work as well, and they've just tiled it. And these are just fire bowls with uh, water pumps underneath. So you can see they have made this incredible water feature literally off their own back. Um, and although you may not be able to hear it, when you're stood in the garden, you can just hear this trickling water all the time. It's really relaxing, it's really good. Um, so look at this for an outdoor sofa. Um, I'm not sure, it's probably three meters by three meters. And I think they're actually gonna get another uh, part of the sofa that's gonna um, turn it into a U shape. So you can get lots of people around there really really social space um, they've got this uh, this is an outdoor rug as well which is really really soft poof um, and that table as well the table matches the dining table over there so I think all of this furniture they've sourced from the same person everything matches it looks really really good um, all this fencing is brand new as well since the last time we were here um, and then you can look along here this is really good you can see all of the planting along there as well everything ties in together and it flows really, really well. So if you want to follow me now, we'll go and have a look at the kitchen and show you what we've got in there. So this kitchen, uh, like most of our kitchens, it's made out of concrete blocks. This then has a 
sand and cement render. So now a lot of the time we use a monocouche render, which is like the colored render. Um, you don't have to paint it. This is matching the house that's behind you and it is just sand and cement and it's then been painted afterwards. Um, so with the kitchen, let's run through this. We've got the Beefeater um, S3000 4 burner grill there. So this is a really, really good grill. Stainless steel, four burners, uh, cast iron um, grids in there. Underneath, we've got double doors as usual, and that's just for storage. So um, gas tank, gloves, bits and pieces that you keep in there, nice and dry. The original design, I think we were gonna have some doors there and maybe a fridge there or something like that. So these openings are actually big enough to house some double doors and a fridge, but the customers decided, do you know what? We're just gonna fill this full of logs so that we've got plenty of fuel for the Alpha 5 Minuti pizza oven. So you may have seen some of these on our videos before. What an amazing piece of kit this is. I have done a review of this as well and a review of this as well as its smaller counterpart, the Alpha Nano. I'll leave a link at the top there if you wanna go over it and, and watch that review. These are really, really good pizza ovens. So with the worktops on this one, uh, South Coast Stone, who are our granite installers, uh, they did this one. This is called Steel Grey, I think this. And if you look at it, the way that it's been polished, it actually looks like it's got droplets of water. It looks like it's been rained on and there's water on there. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but it's a really, really cool finish. Um, and so what they've done with this bar area here is put, we've got underneath here, we've got a, a, a block wall down there. We've got a concrete lintel here, concrete lintel here. It's all been rendered. And then that sits on there. So this uh, piece of worktop has got plenty of support, but you can get your, um, your bar stools right underneath you can now get four people around here. So, you know, if you're bringing the pizzas off here, you can sit down here, you can sit here and have drinks. It's again, it's a really, really social space. So another addition uh, since we were last here is this shelter here, which I think is absolutely incredible. We've got lots and lots of height there. Um, it's just a timber, a simple um, timber frame construction. And they put those slatted battens around there, which just adds that extra little bit of privacy. Um, you can see they've got their, uh, their festoon lights around there, which always look really, really cool. Uh, they've got a heater here that is literally above this little seating area here. And then over here, they've got a portable heater as well. So that can actually be moved anywhere around in the garden uh, to keep you warm during those winter months. So what an outdoor space this is. It really ticks all of the boxes, all of the different areas, depending on who you've got over, what you want to do. Um, it's got it all and it just, it flows so nicely together. Uh, and the kitchen just tops it off. What a place to, to cook all your food and entertain your friends. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to watch another one, uh, I'll leave a link up here so that uh, you can watch another one like this and get some inspiration if you're thinking about getting a kitchen yourself. Um, if you want to see more ideas or pictures of outdoor kitchen, and outdoor spaces we have um, an Instagram and a Facebook account head over there I'll leave the links down here uh, go over there and check those out we try and post a couple of times a week uh, just to show you what you can do and the sort of things you can achieve so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>